The fread and fwrite functions are used to read and write binary or text data in fixed size blocks to streams. The fwrite function takes four arguments, the memory object to write as a word pointer, the size of the object, the number of items, and the stream to write to. We can use this function to write an instance of a structure to a file and retrieve it back later using the fread function. To do this, we pass the address of the structure variable, the size of the structure, and the number of items as one, and the stream that is the file here. On success, it writes the binary data to the file and returns the number of bytes written if the number of items passed was one. The fread function is similar but is used to read binary data from a file. Both the functions return zero if any error occurs or if the file is already in the end of file state. In this example, due to the fwrite call, the file's read and write pointer is already at the end of file. Hence, fread does not work. To fix this, we have to put the pointer at the beginning of the file by either reopening the file or simply using the rewind function. Now the fread function works correctly. This was the fwrite and the fread function. See you on the next video. Bye.